far as I'm concerned, we can play whatever we want in the beta patch now. Now that the beta patch is finally out, we can play whatever we want. You want to play Dodo Rooster? Go for it. You want to play Turkey Tiger Fly? By all means. There's been a staggering amount of changes, but most of them we have already seen. Like the pig has been changed to be a 3-1. The horse is a 2-1 that gives a friend plus one attack until the end of battle. Let's freak out, man. Let's, let, are you seeing this? Let's go crazy. Like Prince. Now, I am also going to run bets. We're going to start prediction. Will NL get six or more wins? Yes? No. It's a new world. We got to try running some horses. Why not? We'll be these sniffing astronauts. That's kind of how I feel right now. Because I'm a mother freaking star boy, but I do also be blowing my nose. Most exciting thing about this, thanks for the win, is that the uh, duck meta is destroyed now. That's an enormous help. It's the one thing I didn't want to be buffed, but that's okay. You know what? Give me a second horse. And uh, I, I, if you want to win round two, you need a unit with three HP. I'll make it my ant, even though the ant is highly pillable. Not a big deal. Might be a bit of a big deal. Fair enough, fair enough. You got me beat Ace Ventura. Not a great start here. You got to think about this. I think you can combine horses, give them a B. Run a second ant, but only temporarily. Roll whence more. Freeze a pill for the future. Honestly, feed that horse an apple. This, this team is ass, but it's okay. Early rounds, not that big of a deal. Copium. Copium. Pretty bad. We need we need a level up here, and we are not going to get one. Uh, honestly, we might as well pill you. I can live with that. I'll take a swan. Life comes at you fast. <laughs> I think we're better than this team. I know we're better than this team. Okay. Give me a level. Like, that's all I'm asking for. I know you're buffed. It's really hard to, like, pill you right now. But I'll freeze a pill for the future. Yo, I really need a level up. Okay. We'll freeze you. We'll get a level up next turn. We'll get two levels up next turn. I'm freezing the whole damn shop. Hey, NL, real Christmas tree or fake Christmas tree? It's an interesting question, right? I don't want to end up uh, being attacked by the war on Christmas psychos. But I think, like, I got nothing against the spirit of Christmas. The idea of... Chopping down, like, a perfectly good tree just to have it up for, like, a month and then throwing it in the compost is, like, the older I get, the more insane that it seems to me. So that I guess that's my two cents. They grow them special? Yeah, but, like, you know, if they were, like, in the environment, wouldn't they be like sucking up carbon dioxide? Spitting out oxygen? Sucking sucking down chili dogs by outside the tasty freeze. We need a deer, man. Like that's we'll, we'll get our horse leveled up next turn. Forget the sheep. Toss me a deer. Okay. I guess I guess we're going a little heavy on the horse. We could pill a turtle.
love that. Absolutely love that. No fear. No fear. Making a fake tree causes pollution, though? When did I ever say anything about making a fake tree, though? Like... I don't believe I, I ever placed them in opposition to one another. How about this? You know... Maybe it's the time. Maybe tis the season. To try a, a, a turkey. I'm tempted to roll parrot deer. You're giving four attack. You know what? Keep the swan for a minute. Sell the dodo. We might not keep the swan forever, but... Try something like this. Sure. I mean, it's the beta patch, man. Now's the time. Oh, no, a hedgehog. What the heck? Okay, we crushed you? I love when people get so anal about, like, such minor stuff. Yeah, incentivizing the creation of plastic trees by purchasing one is certainly much worse than cutting down a tree that eventually biodegrades. Jesse, what the hell are you talking about? Somebody asked me, fake tree or real tree? I said real trees, you know, seem environmentally a little bit destructive. I didn't say anything about the fake tree. You could also run no tree meta. I'm sorry you're so upset that Starbucks doesn't do, like, the red cups anymore, but, like, that's not my problem. Go take it up with the, the CEO. I'm going to get a horse. Mostly for the meme. I don't think anything deserves garlic right now. You copy the level. Okay, so we could use another parrot as well. You know what? Let's can. We could pivot off a lot of this squad. I wouldn't mind a can. Paper straws suck ass. Dude, like, so here's the thing. It's really not that big of a deal. Like, I don't mind using uh, a paper straw. But I think, like, at some point, aren't we just going to accept that we're fucked and then we can just at least have plastic straws on the way down? I am happy to use a biodegradable straw. I use a metal straw for my iced coffee. When I, get, when I go to a coffee shop, I don't get... A straw. They go, do you need a straw? I'm like, absolutely not. It's not necessary. But like, I, f I feel like we might be able to let the people have their plastic straws back if we just maybe built like one more nuclear power plant, then it would be like, we'd, it would come out in the wash. If we have one more nuclear power plant on planet Earth, We could, we could say that we're even or something like that. There's, there's more pluses and minuses than I've ever seen in my entire life. They're getting rid of plastic bags in Vancouver? I'm for it, man. Like, I'd rather just, like, man mode my stuff out of the store or, like, bring my own totes. But oftentimes I forget. As long as I have a stroller, I, like, it's not an issue. Honestly, let's get freaky, man. Oh, that, oh. But, like, I've definitely, having used my own bags uh, for, I don't know, like, something like 10 years now. I was, I was doing it, you know, back when I was in university. I no longer look down on people who, like, get their own plastic bags. I'm like, man, life's hard. I, I hear you. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you drive an electric car that gets charged with... 
I don't, I don't want to get caught in a, in a carbon footprint measuring contest is, is basically what I'm trying to get at. Because like I think sometimes, you know, I might forget my bags and have to use one plastic bag. I don't want people looking at me going like, oh, this guy hates the environment. Meanwhile, I go on to their like Expedia account and they're taking six transatlantic flights a year for work. When a, when a single transatlantic flight uses like, you know, a hundred times more energy than the average household does in a month or something like that. So I, don't, I just, I hope that most people are doing what they can for the environment to the extent that they're able. That's all I can say. And I try not to judge. I'm very much looking forward to that. There's nothing I could do, dude. Magfest only happens once every year. Dude, this build is insane. Like, we're not even coming close to losing. Like, I don't even want to mix it up here. I guess we could get rid of a swan and buy some more chocolate, probably, via a squirrel. Or we could just reroll forever, is the other thing. I guess we could just re-roll for the rest of our days. Corporations do more than any individual. So I agree with that 100%. And I know better than to, uh, you know, get into it with Twitch chat about this kind of stuff. All I'm going to say to be the devil's advocate is that it's not like mo some corporations like Evil Corp are going out there and going like, ah, and then throwing like toxic waste into the ocean. But like most corporations are like responding to the demand from the populace, which is why I think we need like more legislation to, to force them to not operate exclusively in the interests of their customers and capital, but instead, you know, for the long term good of humanity. Unfortunately, everybody's like, that's exactly what we should do. Until, like, you know, gas costs you an extra five cents a liter as a result. And then people are like, wait a minute. Maybe next year? I can't believe we're on Turkey Fly, by the way. I also can't believe we're talking about, like, climate change. <laughs> but it's like, uh, I mean, it's interesting to think about for sure. You know, I consider myself someone who cares about the environment. I, uh... I compost. I make an effort to compost even when it's disgusting. I recycle. When I get takeout, I rinse my takeout containers. Like I, I'll wash them like I'm like washing a dish just to make sure they're clean enough to go in the recycling bin. I'm not even looking at it. Someone's a 10-10 fly? I just get annoyed by the, uh, I don't know, the, the environmental dick measuring. Like, some things apparently is okay to credit. Like, if you are, like, a, an NFT minter, people are like, you hate the environment. But if you, you know, fly to BitSummit 10 years in a row, people are like, based, that's self-care. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to say everybody sucks, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's my enlightened take. <laughs> People were like, I had no choice but to fly to Comic-Con San Diego. Like, we all, we're all complicit in our own ways. Like, you know, we got to find a way out of it together. Instead of just using it as, like, yet another opportunity to feel superior to other people. That's my take on it, at least. I think we're, our scaling is falling off. I don't know, though. Dude. Please. Please. You can do this. We win! Okay. Look at that. 10 win Marty with a little bit of a strange build. Deer, parrot, turkey, tiger, fly. Okay, maybe it's not that strange. <laughs> but I suppose, you know, it proves that Turkey Tiger Fly still got it going on. What an original build. 
Hey, hey, it's the new beta patch. They nerfed Fly. And Tiger, kind of. Daring today, aren't we? I understand that meme. Okay, run it back, run it back. I like an ant. I do not like this at all. Um, we want, we really want an otter to hit the beaver. Maybe this is winnable round one. Be the nasty. Oh, sour sausages. Ew. No, we don't have to do challenges yet. I mean, like we're like this is this is day one of the patch on the main build, man. Well, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Beaver's going to... Uh, maybe Beaver's not going to stick around for a minute. I don't know. Why don't we put a fish in the back, put a bee on it? Just bought a carp. Throw some bees on it. Big plays. Big plays. Bees win. Do you plan to attempt a level 3 squirrel? If the, if the situation warrants, I suppose. I mean, honestly, there was a ample opportunity on the last run. We saw a lot of squirrels. But, uh, as unknown as of right now, but, but we'll see, I guess. Let, let's scale our best unit. Like, temporarily, we're going to dance with the one that brought us. Maybe not forever, but for now, I don't mind. If you got a bunny, you might as well use a bunny. Uh, I am... Pretty scared of what they got going on here. Yeah, it's going to be a loss. Still have not seen a, uh, a sloth. Thank you for your question, but it's kind of a sore spot for me. Still have not seen a sloth. You got to go. Then you get pilled. Not the fish. Why did I even say it? I don't think I... I think you can do spider. Give me a crab. Like, literally just for running it for now. That's how much I want to win. I said no to Scampy. Copies health from the most healthy friend. Interesting to know. Interesting to know. But only... Yo, but doesn't that mean that when you buy another crab, like, it has merit to its purchase now? Because it'll stay, like, it'll be a 3-7, but if we buy another crab, it would be a, well, I guess it would be 3 by default, but, like, if you had 50 HP, you'd become, like, a 450. Very interesting. I will still buy you. This is a good salad time. I mean, for the time being, we really don't have any other options. Don't even have, like, a real garlic play. I don't care for a spider. Oh, that's true. You, you could get, like, some perma cupcake stats or something. That feels good. Okay, we almost have a level three. Let's give him something to talk about. Sell you... A kangaroo with some garlic armor. I think we can still run a rabbit. What did they do to squirrel and cow? Squirrel on level up, um, well, it like even before level up, it makes the food in the shop one cheaper. And then on level up, it gets even cheaper than that, all the way down to... It only costing one, I think. And uh, for the cow, the milk gets stronger if you level them up. It's a very groovy combination, baby. So, like, let's be honest. Our fish does nothing. Freeze a bison. Buy a rabbit. You want to be good at super auto pets? You got to find a way to consistently get yourself out of a jam. That's what we're doing right now. We didn't have any great stuff going for us in the early game. Now we're getting out of a jam. You know, we, we got a way to get to four wins using detritus animals. No offense to the, the kangaroo. <laughs> a little bit of offense to almost everything else. Holy crap. That's just a strong team. Buy me? Buy me. 
I definitely do not mind applying a monkey to the squad. Unfreeze me. That's exactly what we want to see. Okay, so we can get a bison out there next turn. I don't mind buffing the crab. May not be the best, but... Dude, this ox. Is this the same individual? I'll take it. Buy me. Dude, honestly... You gotta start scaling faster. You gotta go. That takes us to nine. Can me? Can me. Buy a bison. And then this leopard is going to the freaking moon. We might be able to maybe sell a kangaroo, which has not done very well for us so far. And then get a bison to freaking pop. Yeah, this kangaroo is doing nothing for us right now. Double? Wait, that's not double bison. They're literally next to each other. You should notice the difference, maybe. Okay, so you're gone. I'll add you. I'll, I'll just place you here. You're, you're basically fodder. Fodder! Ooh! This would buff you, but only by 2 HP. So honestly, I'm a, I'm a simple man. I'll give you some... I'm just going to give you some meat. I'm not thrilled with this team right now. All right, well, uh, actually, we pay out the believers. Crab takes from Leopard? No, they, they, it's a different game now. Game is different now. This is it, it, I've changed. I'm a rebel. Honestly, let's, let's sell this crab. Put a tiger out here. Tiger's just a lot of fun, essentially. That's like its whole thing, is that it's like, it's fun. Wow, okay. I don't know if we're going to win this round, but we are going to do 24 damage. Right off the jump. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, man. Now we're going to do... Like, 36 damage. It's kind of nutty. Well, it is rather nutty. Okay, hold on. Maybe we give you some melon armor. Like, you're getting a nice buff here. Someone could use it. Holy crap. Oh, wait, monkey's even better now, right? Man, we're still gonna lose, but that leopard was freaking sick. It was honestly worth the loss. For that leopard to, to pop off. Alright. Complete prediction for the believers. Run it back again. Dude, that was not like a, a, a stunning bit of luck in the early game. I think you gotta put some respect on our ability to claw our way out of despair there. Now this is an interesting build. Cricket, 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 cricket. Let's go! The fatherly hipsters. I mean, I'm... I, I got a 10 win. Two beavers? I got a 10 win and a 7 win. I'm loving the patch so far. Give me a B, please. That's a B. B me. Do you think season 41 of Survivor will inspire you to watch the other seasons? Um, I'm not going to go back. If there are spoilers available, I will find them. Like, I just, I'll just get, I'll watch one bad episode and be like, fuck this. Who won? And then quit watching the whole season. But I'm definitely going to watch season 42 unless something changes in my life. Like, I'll, I'll watch from this point onwards. Uh, for the time being, as long as it holds my interest. Cricket? Okay, that's... It's, it's acceptable. It's acceptable.
Dude, this could be a cracked ox, especially because we want to pill an ant, like, right away. Honestly, though, like, when people are mad at Survivor, like, they, the oh, reality TV forehead. I'm, all, I'm just, like, you know, not that I didn't used to be, like, one of you. But, like, there's so much worse garbage on TV to be annoyed at. <laughs> it's just, like... <laughs> It's uh it's just a fun show basically. Like what? Like everything on HGTV without a doubt. And the news. Yeah, don't care didn't ask plus the news. Well, this is a new one. But I like it. I don't know if I'm going to pill anything. You know what? We could maybe make this work. Horse in the front? What the fuck? I stole that from Chip. I can't stop saying what the fuck. Hey man, the horse might not be like that amazing. I, I've been doing this on the mobile version too. I've been uh, just buying horse and using it with no summons whatsoever. And then when I get a, with like 10 wins with it, I'm like, oh man, this is fun. We have fun here. Okay, I like this. Like, Spider would be great with a horse. Oops. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. A lot of interesting stuff going on here. I mean, truth be told, I would just buy an otter, man. Just, yeah, thanks for not hitting my fish. That's, that's all I asked for. Kangaroo would hit the spot here. Now we can actually sell our fish to make more room, which is nice, too. One, two kangaroo is pretty bad. But I, you know, the, the kangaroo was... I, I didn't mention it because I didn't want to rain on anybody's parade. The kangaroo was getting close to the point of it being oppressive. So, like... Right, look at that. I'm glad that it's been changed. Maybe it's a little much, but... I think it just takes a little bit more setup to get going now. Let's roll it. Definitely like fit a swan in here. I mean, if we're just gonna chill like this, what's sticking around doesn't matter. The kangaroo needs the support. Yeah, it was always just the, like the number one thing that was annoying about the the kangaroo was just always running into people who had like a spider in front of their kangaroo and then the spider spits out a ram and you're like guess I'll just go die okay we're on round seven let's let's get a, a stacked cow man I don't think we're gonna get a bison so I'm actually gonna dump our seven seven otter keep the swan for a moment buy a cow I guess you could buy a pair first. Buy a cow. Get the milk. Gives more HP. Let's give a little bit of that right over there. Roll me once. You know... If we're going to keep a cow, give it some milk. Five wins heading into round seven. Feels, feels pretty good. Horse at the front, atypical, but you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, no turtle, please. There's hatching chick, that's what we love to see. <laughs> Pour me a glass of milk. You're gonna need it. I bet I bet your throat needs some rest. I'm now only now recognizing how that probably sounds to people, but I mean because of your prodigious performance on your rap album. I feel like we have to get a level two parrot. Because it's any other, it's a copy of any other two level animal we have. It just seems fun. But it doesn't work in the, sh in the shop. So like, we can't use it with a seal or a worm. But I guess we could do it behind the ox to make a level two ox and then our can because I'd rather have an ox in front of a kangaroo than a kangaroo in front of a kangaroo. 
But there's got to be something better. Okay, just use your brain. I, I take another level three. Is plus another ox, man. Sure. We still have perfect HP, which is kind of crazy. Lucky. Lucky. I don't know, man. This is kind of cracked. Hey, Dylan. I'm going to freeze the whole thing. Well, one of the easiest turns you're ever going to see. A monkey would fit great, but I really want to get like a level 2 cow, if possible. Nice try. Ooh, tough luck. Hate to see it. That's eight wins, baby. I blinked and missed everything. I really need some chocolate. You know, like, I'm sorry to do this to our cow. Chocolate me? Oh, you piece. <laughs> I think it doesn't work like that anymore. <laughs> I have to wait till the next turn, dude. Bro. Or you could just give some chocolate right now, I guess. Okay. Um, honestly, we need a level two kangaroo more than anything, but this is like funnier, so. Straight up, I'm like... Feed that parrot, man. We're only two wins away from, from Graceland here. Big whoop. Big whoop. Oh, baby. Oh, dude, it's freaking cracked, dude. Chocolate? Oh, why? It's, oh, it's so cheap, too. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. I think I maybe have never had a level three parrot. I'm buying another squirrel, man. I don't, like, a snake probably fits here, but, like, this squad is so stupid that I don't want to mess with it because it's so freaking funny. I don't know. Maybe I'll just buy a cupcake for you again. How does that sound? It's a pretty annoying team to run into a level 3 ox just behind a level 2 ox. Uh, I don't know, though. This one it seems kind of bad. Yeah, this, is, this one's going to hurt. It's our first loss, but we, we, we're in danger of falling behind a little. Dude, honestly? At the start of turn, discount shop food by two gold. We don't need a horse. We could dump you and rent a scorpion. That's always my, like my, my end game play. What, what if we... <laughs> What if we sell the kangaroo? No, what if we sell... The, oh, you, you need a cat. You need a cat here. Okay. Sell the horse. Keep the kangaroo for a moment. I, I promise there's a, a method to my madness. Buy you. Freeze you. This costs three gold, but that's fine. Pay me. Pay me. I don't, I don't want to freeze you anymore. And keep in mind, oh, you, yeah, you can, you can create level 3s out of thin air, man. Alright, melon armor is now useless. Good to know. But, free stuff. Oh, baby. One up. Not that important. But a one gold pizza. Kind of sick. You gotta go. And I think maybe... But how do I get you to live longer? Via a one gold one up. Ooh. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Honestly. What do you think happens if you tiger this parrot? I don't think it works. 
The answer is nothing. It guaranteed works. I mean, I did, you know what? It's it's beta season, baby. We're living. We're living. Oh. Oh. oh, 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 oh. I don't know if it worked. That's 10 wins? Holy crap. Well, we'll pay out the believers on that one. Dude, did we get are we a 70% achievements? We are. But there's no way we didn't have a level or we ever had a level 3 parrot before. Holy crap, that's good. Let me blow my nose by the way. I don't know if the parrot is that good, or if we just got three of them in one shop, and as a result, it ended up being like the perfect storm. Because that happened in uh, with the octopus too, the first time we had it. Dude, we are we are crushing it. It's it's kind of crazy that I, I did run bets back, right? I'm feeling rejuvenated. Oh, no, we didn't. I'm feeling rejuvenated, though. Maybe it's also because I'm not doing, like, uh, you know, four animal no-roll challenges just to feel something. That's pretty good. I'll be the... Clumsy balls. Miffed masseuses is pretty good, too. When was the octopus? I think it was literally my first ever Super Auto Pets DLC run. I'm psycho. Everybody's saying the duck is unplayable. That's the best time to buy a duck. Also, we didn't really have many other options. It's the return of the duck. But you did, but you did. You know, you know what I'm talking about? By Mark, uh, Mark Morrison. The return of the quack once again. I know that I'll be back. Return of the quack was pretty good. Anyway, um, I'm going to say freeze me, roll me. Although you being a 3-3 three three is kind of nutty. I'm going to say freeze me, roll me. Never punished. Sell me. Sell me. Sadly, yes, I know that song. What do you mean sadly, you piece? Return of the Mac is like, it's a good song. You're going to be better combined. Yeah, yeah. Freeze me. Freeze me. Don't freeze me. 2-8 Peacock. Pretty nasty. I don't know why I have it at the back, but that's a problem for future me. Didn't matter that time. You can question mark all you want. The only thing you should be question mark is like, why the heck did I freeze a squirrel as if we had any chance of losing? Like it? Swan, perfect time for a swan. Nah. I'm going to say nah. I'm going to hit you with a nah on that one. Oh, it's because you called something a squirrel? Yeah, like I'm kind of, like all of my brain is dead from, uh, from being a little sick, but also Big Brain Academy. Like I'm, I'm just gone, man. Is it Friday? That's something we, we do in the workforce. We say, is it Friday yet? And then everyone goes, ha, 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 it's not Friday yet. <laughs> Silly. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. These are some good animals, but... I, I'm kind of feeling our existing squad. 
I like it, man. We're on round five. Freeze me. And then guarantee me a win, please. I'll, I'll upgrade my Flamingo. I'm not scared. I don't know where our scaling is going to come from, but we might not need scaling if we never lose. You really thought you had something there. Okay, deer helps. You can definitely just run this squad, man. And honestly, I'll just be honest with you. Like, true, true, that's true. Just put a B on your swan. This has, this has perfect potential. Meat is very scary, but splash damage is very, very helpful. Look at that. Okay, believers are, are sitting pretty already. We need to find a way up from here. Level 2 Flamingo would be nice. Selling your fish for something more valuable would be nice. Don't really need a turtle yet. Level, okay, well, I'll, I'll take my Flamingo a level up. It's kind of rare. Shark's not that good, but it can win you some... It can be lucky for you in the early game. I think you're going to sell your fish, though, by a whale. We're going to have the whale eat the deer. That's still good. Honestly, let's get stupid. Like, I want to inspire fear in the hearts of our villains. I mean, um, our opponents. Freeze me. I don't even know what I'm going to do with you, but just freeze me for now. I want them to shake when they see an 11 11 flamingo. So far, so good. Seven wins. I just don't know where you would put a parrot here. Like, you can't put it behind a whale because it will eat the whale, and then when it spits it out, it probably will not have a deer inside of it. <laughs> I, don't think that's, I don't think that's viable. I guess you could roll it behind the deer... You know, here's the thing. It's funny. It's like legit humorous. So it should copy the deer, get eaten. Then you'll have a deer. It'll die, summon a bus. Wait, but you'll summon a bus when you get eaten. Okay. It doesn't work? Why wouldn't it work? Which goes first? Well, like, this copies at the end of the turn. And then in battle, the other abilities start to go. The whale will just summon a raw parrot. Okay, so it gives us one bus, but not two buses. Still? It's kind of funny. Can't deny that. Don't worry about my flamingo, okay? You let me worry about my flamingo. I would, it depends, you're going to go, it buffs the whale for 2-2, two, two. so I do like that. You know what, take one of these, take one of these. I mean, this, this is a very strange squad. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're cracked? is actually so funny. I mean, you got to the second parrot is raw. That's why it's so powerful. Is because there's no point to it, which makes it hilarious. I love send it, man. <laughs> it's a different world now, okay? Like, look at this. What the heck? It's not even close, man. 
I mean, if we, uh, there's no pressure, but if we win this one, it's screenshot territory for sure. This being a perfect run would be so comical. It's exactly what I wanted to see, man. Now we got a level two deer up here. I don't level with you. The time's right for the swan to go, get replaced with a fly. You might as well just give that deer a chili pepper, man. This is screenshot territory. The worst 10 win team in existence? It's gonna win. It, it won. Print screen. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go to Microsoft Paint. Is, I, what can you say, man? Put me in the thumbnail. How do you zoom out in photo, in, in paint? You click the little thing. Okay, fair enough. Then here's the, this is a pro tip. It's what's called a pro gamer move. You uh, open it in paint and then you use the Windows snipping tool in order to just easily take a screenshot of it. Hey, normal dude, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. And then you just, just tweet something ignorant. Like, tweet the screenshot and then just say something like, Worst flawless team in history, LOL, question mark. Oh, man. Fly, whale, level 2 parrot, level 2 4-4 four, four deer with a chili pepper, 12-12, level 2 garlic flamingo. I was here, I was here, I was here, I was here. Kids, uh, somebody tweeted me this. Kids younger than school age get an average of six to eight colds a year, most of them between September and April. This works out to about one a month. The colds on average last 14 days. A month is 30 days. So in the winter, on average, your kid will have a cold 50% of the time. That's terrible news. The math checks out, I think, but that's terrible news. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, we can uh, choose outcome. We're paying out the believers, of course. And then we're going to run one back. I can't believe it, man. Like, I mean, I had full confidence we were going to win every round but if you had told me that if you took a snapshot of just my team and said how many wins would this get i would say two i would be like i don't, like i would be like i don't even get it like why is the flamingo leveled 12 12 is not that impressive the whale is eating a parrot i don't even know what that means anyway thanks for the points dude parrot i i have not had anything less than a 10-win run with the Parrot. Like, it's it's out of control. That, sorry, I gloated on that one for a bit, but it, it also felt very nice. Parrot's like the new... Uh, it's the new Tiger, man. Okay, we can try like a little, a little Mosquito. Could go for a little Moscato right now. Well, I'll take a little Mosquito. The Crispified Eggplants. Mmm... Dehydrated baba ganoush. We win these. Okay. Yes. Yes. Roll me. I'm freezing the whole damn shop. I don't care. I don't, I'm freezing the whole damn shop. That's how you win rounds early. Beautiful. The Mega Freeze. 
now. We like, we like, we f we take, we do it. Yummy, yummy. Roll me for a pill. Old friend. For England, James. Okay, this is, this is a good squad right now. We want to pill an ant in front of an ox for early game mega potential. And you could just roll a flamingo, you know, because it's just amazing. That's a roll. We want an ox out there no matter what. That's not ideal, but it is what it is. Welcome to the damn squad. That fish is gonna be tough, man. That's a tricky fish. Although, is it? Let's go. Well, it got a little scary there for a second. <laughs> Just kidding. Five, five beaver, you gotta go. Love to see it. Roll me. I'm just, I'm relying on like, if I see something I want, I'm gonna know it, you know? Give me a kangaroo, pill the flamingo in front of it, Buy me some garlic for the kangaroo. Roll once. Fru I, I don't think we're going to lose. I, freezing a snail is a coward's parlance. Toss me an ant at the front that we can pill in front of our ox later. I'm going off, man. Oh, this is a scary team, though. Yeah, we lose. I, sh I should have pilled this. I should have frozen the snail, man. Now I'm on full tilt poker. Nothing. It's all bad. Two five now, huh? That's kind of crazy. I do always love the concept of a badger. Pill badger in front of ox. Certainly an interesting play. <laughs> I can't deny that. <laughs> I, li I like your... I like your enthusiasm. That's important. Like, the, the kangaroo's important here. Maybe you roll a flamingo in front for now. And then... Oh, okay. This, let's learn from our mistakes this time. What's your favorite pasta shape? It changes like the like the wind, you know? From from day to day, if you ask me today, it could be different. If you silly Jerry? That's like a good Seinfeld trivia question. Kramer makes a few silly Jerry. What does he make? What kind of pasta does he use for, for Bet Midler? I think it's macaroni midler, but I, I can't remember. Parrot, it's cracked, it's cracked, it's lit, it's lit. I like, um, and I, I know, I apologize because I said this a thousand times. How much time do we have? Three minutes? Okay, let's let's win real quick. Um, I uh, I really like orecchiette, if that's how it's pronounced. I might be I might be putting some extra sauce on it unnecessarily. You gotta love this, man. Ear pasta? Yeah, I mean, how could you not love it, right? Hold on, now we got a whale.
you, there, there's nothing for it to eat yet. Like there's, if it had, if we had a deer, I would run it. Just give it a sec. Maybe we'll get one. Otherwise, we could always roll huge BM, which is just um, two six whale at the front, just to be uh, like an a hole. This is just for like, this is pure bad manners. This is like I don't even need it. This is I'm I'm doing this instead of okay. We're gonna get our ass beat. <laughs> I'm doing this instead of freezing it. We actually didn't get wrecked that badly, but... Roll me. Beautiful. Alright, you're not doing anything, like... So get out of here, man. Get out of here. Obviously you can parrot skunk, but that's not that exciting to me. Parrot crab, I sleep. Do you kind of love the idea of a of a parrot scorpion? Ten five death touch scorpion. It doesn't work. It said copy the ability. What the fuck? Oh well. I win. It's equipment. Built-in equipment is ability. They're synonymous. We still won. I don't know why I'm upset, but like... Okay, dude, honestly, like, you gotta go. You're not doing anything. Get out of here, you stink. How about a whale that eats a mammoth? in the future. Um, sure, I guess just just hold it for a second. I'm looking for a whale. A, a parrot that swallows a mammoth's ability, then the whale eats the parrot, and there's a tiger behind the whale, so it spits out two things instead of, you know what I'm, you know, okay, wow, nice, nice build, nice, nice build, congrats. What the heck? Okay, get out of here. You suck. My chocolate? Well, how could we have done that instead, I guess, now that I think about it? Seems like a valid point, honestly. Chocolate. I'm sorry. If that was chocolate, I would have lost my freaking mind. This is not a good team anymore. Yeah, this we're we're toasted. But it was funny. There was some humor involved. It's a strong team. I'll take it. There was a whale at the end. I was I was getting like way too tiger pill. Either way, we did we we paid out the believers every single time. Parrot still very good. Let me make sure my wife is good to stream. Oh, Christmas Discord, that's cute. Hello. Are you ready to stream? It was uh oh she won't stream today. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Still feeling a little under the weather. She's got lots of like domestic uh, stuff to do to make sure that we're good for the the contractor stuff. Anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. Take take me over to Twitch here. Twitch.tv. I don't think like I'm gonna be better tomorrow. Like like better is in like the state of being a hundred percent not sick. But we get like five percent closer every day. One day. One day we'll be there. Have you tried shrooms? No, I haven't tried shrooms, Chibli. 
I think I've become like one of those people on shrooms that like sinks into a hole they never come out of. I'm I'm better off just like raw dog in life. Is is better for me, I think. Anyway, I'm going to send you to you know what I'm gonna send you to Jay. Jay was here earlier. We played him in some uh, some Big Brain Academy. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I will see you tomorrow. See you.